do another first light to uh, 8 a.m. video, uh, go into a different part of the lake. Um, but real quick, I wanted to take a couple of minutes. This channel is a, a fishing channel. That's what it's supposed to be, and I try to keep it that way. But I just want to take a couple of minutes real quick. Um, there's so much craziness going on in the world right now as I record this. Um, you know, there's a there's an addiction sweeping this country that people aren't even aware of. You know, everybody knows about drug addiction, alcohol addiction. You know, it's it's common knowledge. But over the last several years, um, I believe a lot of people are becoming addicted to uh, confrontation and conflict. And I think the media started it um, years ago when they figured out that if you could pit two groups against each other, you get a lot more people watching you. Um, you know, when I was young, the news was basically, you know, they told you what's happening in, in Asia, what's happening in Europe, what's happened. It, it was just, it was the news. Now that's not the case anymore. Now it's, it's, you know, what can we come up with today to fire people up? And I think people have become addicted. And I feel bad for those people because in the long run, it's going to affect you mentally and physically. There's nothing good that comes out of, whether it's YouTube or network television or wherever you get your entertainment. If you're watching conflict and confrontation between either two people, groups, there is not a single positive emotion that comes out of watching that. Every emotion, anger, bitterness, hatred, uh, disappointment, sadness, they're all negative. And so you may not even realize that you have this addiction, but the way to tell is next time you're about to either click on a YouTube video or you turn on your local news, if you're doing it to see the latest confrontation, you have the addiction. And a lot of people have it. It's, there's a mental health crisis in this country that is, is being caused by that, the negativity, the bombardment of it. So try this. Try to go a week with, if you see something on YouTube, like, I don't know if you noticed, but these bass fishing YouTube videos, they figured out the way to get people to watch conflict and confrontation. You know, so-and-so had a confrontation with a dock owner. Uh, these two guys in a in a Bassmaster event had a confrontation. You know that you know about forward-facing sonar. That's pitting two groups. I can't believe when I'm when I'm looking for a, you know a bass fishing video, all the negativity, and that's what it's what it's become. And so try to go a week without clicking on anything with a negative t headline, and see what happens. See if you don't have a better disposition. You know, I, I, I'm not saying that any of you are experiencing this, but I know a lot of people are definitely experiencing it. They can't wait to turn on the TV to get riled up over the latest conflict. So, okay, that's my public service announcement. So I'm going out to Lake Ponderé in the morning. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get there by first light. I'll fish till 8. I'll, uh, I'll weigh the fish. And, uh, you know, same, same as the one I, I just did last week. So, oh, I'll have the, uh, the popper, the walking bait, and the swim bait. At, you know, uh, two swim baits, a uh, six inch and a four inch. I'll see you out there. Okay, it's a little rougher today than it was uh, last week, but I'm gonna try top water anyway. Oh, there's one. Got him. Come here, buddy. He came off. No, he didn't. Time for a net. <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you, they fight. Man, do they fight. Oh, that's a good one. Come here. Oh, I snagged him. I think I snagged him. That's why he's fighting so hard. Yeah. 
Look at that. Didn't even get him. He slapped at it. Sorry, buddy. Okay. I'll do that later. This. Gotta go quick. It might be a two pounder. swim bait <laughs> didn't even start reeling he hit it on the fall oh that's a good one yeah that's a good fish <laughs> oh, come here buddy A good one. Yep. Oh, what is that? Ew, what is that? Never seen that before. Yeah. Somebody tell me what that is, if you know. See a three pounder? Maybe. Yep, three, four. Yeah, I had to go to the swim bait. It's pretty rough. Three, four. That's two. Oh, I got him. Oh, man. He smacked that thing. He smacked it. Come here, buddy. Oh, it came off. Well, at least you got to see it. There's one. I don't think he's very big. I think I got him. Yeah, he's not that big. That's right. It should be number five. Easily should be number five. Instead, I'm not even going to weigh you. Uh, buddy, I got you good though. I'll tell you that. I got you good. You are not coming off. Oh, jeez. Hang on, buddy. There we go. Well, let's see if they can see the popper in these waves. <coughs> this is where they're at, right in here. That's a good one. Oh, what are the odds of me getting him in? Way out there. Maybe he's not as good as he... No. God, why do they look... Oh, he came off. 
God, he looked huge when he hit that thing. Well, I've resorted to drop shotting because <clears throat> I'm just not getting bit. So let's see if I can get. Oh, that must have been a pike. Yep. I got five minutes left. I'm going to try to catch one on a drop shot. And then oh, there he is. <clears throat> I'm going to go home. I could probably get a limit on the drop shot, but uh, this wasn't supposed... Oh, geez, that's a good fish. <laughs> that's crazy, isn't it? I'm, I'm throwing that swim bait. I'm throwing that uh, top water, and I'm trying to catch guys like this. I drop a little four and a half inch worm down there. Bang. <laughs> All right, I'm going home. If I can get him in the boat... It'll make the video worth watching. I think this is only my third fish. Come on, get him in the boat. That's a good one. The wind's pulling me, and that's not helping. Here, let me go like this. Let me go like this. Oh, man. Oh. All right, buddy, come on. I gotta go. I gotta go. Ah. doing it to me don't you do it that's three and a half maybe all right that's it you know what I'm gonna do since I'm leaving I'm gonna put him in the live well okay time to go home let's weigh it Pounds, four ounces. All right, all right, all right, all right. So I ended up with three, three fish in the boat. I lost a topwater fish. I lost a uh, swim bait fish at the boat. I had probably I don't know three or four messing with the topwater. There weren't a lot of bites. <laughs> you know, Don Iovino is the one who told me, don't, don't ever let anyone tell you you need big baits to catch big fish. I mean, he wasn't a giant, but he was he tied for my biggest. I had two, two three pound, four ounce fish today. And, you know, I got down to the last fish. I'm looking at the graph. They're all over the place. So if I wanted to catch fish, I could have just drop shotted you know, caught some good fish, but it's not as much fun as the topwater stuff. This wasn't the best day for topwater fishing. Um, anyway, so, I mean, if you want to do the total, it was uh, 3, 6, 8, uh, 8, 8, 8, 14 for three fish. I'm going to do one more of these. I'm going to go down to the um, Ponderé River next week. Same thing. You know, first light till eight o'clock, and uh, I'll do one more. Okay, I think there's enough action in here for a for a video, short video. See you at the next one.